Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the one and only Silo Man coming to you from a launch control center in a former Atlas F intercontinental ballistic missile site outside Roswell, New Mexico, USA. Over the next roughly 10 minutes, I'm going to be taking you through some of the early exterior photographs that were taken while we were doing this kind of work. As you can see here, that's an aerial taken of the what we call the silo cap area with the silo doors. We're doing some work uh, on the exterior uh, with a backhoe at this point. You can see us removing some of the mesquite. Around one of the air intake vents there to the right of that photograph. You can see it a little clearer in this photo. And there's the entryway. The, the vent that you see uh, at the right of that photograph is the air exhaust. Uh, originally, this little pad held a, a TV camera. You see some of the lines that as we're, as we're doing some of the excavation work. And there's the escape shaft. They had poured concrete over it. So we're trying to open it up at this point, banging it off, cracking it, and then removing it. We'll be digging that out all the way down. And there's the entryway. You can see we put a ventilator on it. It's what we call the, the communication manhole, and people have thrown different stuff in it. We'll be pulling all of that, cleaning it out, putting a lid on it. That's a picture of it a little further away. You see in the background that concrete structure that was originally the manifold for the 92,000 gallons worth of water tanks. There's a, a steel door. That was an original door. Of course, the glass is missing and it's been reinforced for a, a, an Atlas F site. There's another shot of the entryway. We put a coat of paint on it there. Over the top, we've laid some pieces over the top of the escape shaft. Some of the equipment that we've been using. And looking down the escape shaft itself, through the years, people have thrown stuff down there. Another far away picture. You'll see around the exterior where we dug down to the launch control center itself to get an idea of where the underground lines were running. One of the shots. There's a shot of the silo doors. Each one of those has 75 tons. This open pit area is originally where five water tanks, big giant steel water tanks were for 92,000 gallons worth of water. That manifold I told you earlier is right there. In the far distance you'll see a, a concrete pad. Uh, that was the water treatment, uh, not water treatment, but uh, cooling tower pad. And that was for the, uh, uh, the cooling tower was for the diesel generators and the water chillers inside the silo. And I'm standing up on the hill of dirt that was, we called it a hill of dirt, that the dirt from that pit where the water tanks were located. You're looking down, you're seeing the fence line of what was originally the fence line. Again, different angles along that fence line. And this particular one is would be the, the exterior or the outer uh, property fence line. See part of that hill of dirt that we're standing on. And there we're looking towards the west. Coming back around. You can see the small pad there with the opening as we're as we're as, as it's panning around. That's the was the original UHF antenna base, which we put a backup emergency generator on it. And then that's looking from a small gully just outside. You can see the, the entryway in the background. There's another picture of it. And again, some more of the dirt work that we were doing. You can see just barely the edge of the upper portion. There's another, it's a silo cap, which you're looking at right here is the fill and vent shaft to the silo itself. Some of the very large mesquite we're trying to cut out. Behind it would have been the air exhaust to the silo. 
another angle uh, coming in from the, the southwest. This is looking from basically the silo cap area over to the uh, entryway. Uh, the concrete that you see right there uh, is the air intake shaft for the silo itself. And another shot of the escape shaft. And we'll be busting all of that out. And that's looking down, you can see the, the edge of the uh, launch control center come around. You can see the top of the stairwell. And that four inch steel line that you saw coming out, that, that is the, uh, the sewer line that's going out to a what we call a sewer manhole. And at that point, it's gravity fed from there onto the septic tank. And you can see there where it comes out of the top of the stairwell, climbs up, and then goes over. And where it ends up is right under that portion of dirt. There is a manhole right there. And you can see some of the lines that were cut when we had that digger up. And you can see in the background, you can see that sewer line. You can also see the very edge of the of the, the stairwell. Now this is looking over at the septic tank. Septic tank and distribution box. And that was for some of the, the uh, what we call the, the, the map sheet or the mobile, what was it? Mobile air, I can't even think of the name right now. And there's another shot looking at the air exhaust coming out of uh, the LCC. These were some of the lines that were coming in from the exterior of the LCC. Septic tank again, distribution box, and in the far, far ground you can see the uh, other vent shafts there. And there we're starting to do some of the dirt work. We wanted a, a, a much larger parking area, so we used some of that dirt and leveled it out. There we're removing some of the mesquite near the water cooling tower. You see those salt cedars in the back, all of those have been removed now, but that's the way she looked when we first started. Again from the solid cap. You can see where it's been cleaned up, and that's the cooling tower base right there. And then to the right of that, you'll notice that there's two large circular long pieces. Those were the original air washers for the silo on level one. They were removed and then set level one of, of the silo here was removed also. And for some reason, those air washers are just sitting there and have for all of these years, probably since about 1968. And you can see that open pit area from where the, the water tanks were removed. Again, looking at the uh, the communication manhole and some of the lines coming in uh, from the north. And we've gone ahead to dig that down so we can follow those lines out. We're looking over at the culminator site tube. That helped with the the uh, inertial guidance system. It, it shot the North Star or Polaris. Again, up on that hill of dirt. And that'll give you just a little idea well, I'd like to thank you all. Uh, if you enjoyed what you see, please subscribe, uh, hit that bell, and if you enjoyed it, hit that like button and share it with your friends. Thank you so much, and if you have any questions, please be sure and leave them in the comment section.